can set aside a quiet and undisturbed part of your garden to create a log pile. And you'll have to do a little bit of digging, but it'll definitely be worth it. It's essentially recreating a forest floor ecosystem and it's best to use logs from native species the likes of ash or oak or birch and this is a perfect habitat for a huge range of wildlife so for small mammals it's good it's shelter the gaps between the logs if the log pile is close to your pond it's good for hibernating amphibians and also for a wide diversity of insects and therefore it also provides food for birds as well and after a year or two, if you leave it alone, fungi will also colonize here. Gardening for biodiversity is all about creating mini habitats in your garden and trying to replicate natural ecosystems, many of which have been lost. So if we think of a small pond in a garden, that's replicating a wetland system, or a log pile is replicating conditions on a forest floor. And a lot of people might find it undesirable to share their garden with creepy crawlies, but these are hugely important in the food web. And if they're not there, then the larger, more noticeable species aren't gonna be here either, like the birds and the small mammals.